welcome or welcome back to my channel. I uh, thought I'd do something I haven't done in a very long time. I think not since like 2022 because I didn't do any wrap ups per se in 2023 because in January of 2023 I read exactly one book and I didn't feel like making a video wrapping up one book. I mean I could have but I didn't wanna so I didn't and and then wrap ups just sort of didn't happen that way but um besides my rambling now I thought I'd do I, I reintroduce wrap-ups, monthly wrap-ups to my channel um, but since all the books are in a video or another um, I'm just gonna do like a quick fire one so briefly what it is and if I liked it or not <laughs> basically and uh, there will be a longer video um, me talking about each of the books and if it's not out already then it's gonna come out after this video I know one or two I think um, is coming out after this video um, so yeah so let's just start with the first one the cats were me along the way by Nadia McHale I keep saying her name wrong I feel but okay so basically world is ending family reuniting it's all about that kind of deal. I thought she was really cute. Uh, there is only one cat in it, so I felt a bit tricked. And then I have a short story collection, which is Collective Visions, Lost in Transmission. So it's all, I think it's all supposed to be sci-fi. Um, yeah, a new sci-fi anthology. So yeah, it's all supposed to be sci-fi. I would argue that some felt more fancy than sci-fi, but that's neither here nor there um so basically um i i didn't like it <laughs> it's a bunch of short stories all of them are like five pages long if not less some maybe a bit more but they didn't have enough time to actually develop anything so they start off fairly well but then they sort of just rush to the point um so yeah, I, d I didn't like it. So, next one. Love Me Do by Lindsay Kelk. A rom-com. English girl versus her sister in LA. Um, sort of starts matchmaking between her, her sister's neighbour and her sister's personal trainer. And, um, yeah, it turns out she kind of fancies the dude him herself. So, awkward. I liked it. I do like Lindsay Kelk's books in general. Um, so just a fun, easy, summery time read. Also, there's like an old actress, old retired actress, I should say, um, who's, well, she's sassy. <laughs> Next up is Upon a Frosted Star by M.A. Kusnor. What was it? Swan Lake meets Great Gatsby, uh, more or less. I, if I say anything more than that, it's gonna be a lot. Kinda slow, it's very slow start, very slow throughout. It picks up somewhere along the lines and, <laughs> I mean, I, I liked it fine. I liked it fine if I should be aggressive about it. Um, not a new favorite. Then we have Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. How do I even describe this one? So, one is, there's a bunch of different characters, different sorts of characters as well, I'll, I'll say, like demons and angels and that, those kinds of characters, uh, and humans and vampires. <laughs> so, um, dude is the godson of death, like the death, and uh, she is a struggling vampire realtor. She's a real struggling realtor who just happens to be a vampire. Yeah. So it does have its good moments, but it kind of tends to like run off on some weird tangent like I do every now and again. And the plot doesn't necessarily make sense, um, but it's a fun read. 
um, and uh, funny is a read, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think that's all I can say. And I also read Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Now, this is like the gothic comedy of Jane Austen's um, thingamajig. I also read another Jane Austen, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, so I'm struggling to remember what this one is about. It was about something. I liked the beginning of it, ish, and then I got bored. I got so bored. <laughs> I did finish it. It's one of the smaller ones, so there's that. But there's this character, what's his name, Thorpe? Yeah, something like that. And he he's basically, I think he's supposed to be the villain of the story. Talk about forgetting books. Anyway, uh, next Jane Austen is Emma, and uh, this will be in a, another video because I did uh, watch a adaption of it as well, so that's a different video all about that. Uh, basically, Emma, main character, she doesn't have any ambitions of getting married, having a husband and all that. She does, however, very much like to set other people up matchmaking as it were and uh, she's not always the best at it let's say that and um yeah i will say as much as i liked it um and if it's the book or the adaption you will have to wait to find out and then um the last two books is the atlas six and the atlas paradox by oliver blake now, I'm in the middle of reading these. These are in the, their own kind of little video, so I'll just hold up this one. <laughs> um, so, Atlas Six. Basically, these six people from around the world with, I guess, special abilities, they are chosen to come to the... Is it called the Institute? What are they calling it? <laughs> no, the Alexandrian Society, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these six people are chosen to come to the Alexandrian Society to, I guess, research and um, do a bunch of other thingamajing jangs. And um, in one of my previous videos when I said um, they might be taking over the world, I'll say as much as I wasn't too far off on that one. <laughs> My very bad guess. I'm liking it so far, but I'm in book three, so I kind of want to finish book three before I say anything about my like or dislike over them, um, because I want to kind of rate the series as a whole. I feel that's the most appropriate, um, but I am enjoying myself so far. So there's that. I don't know, um, um, hopefully um, some of my waffling will not be here. Also, if you can hear my uh, dishwasher, washing machine and tumble dryer, I am sorry. <laughs> I did not plan this well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.